This video presents a very quick lecture on the conditional probability. Let's have a review of very basic concepts about probability. Let the probability of event A be denoted as P of A or read as probability of A. When a deck of cards is shuffled, we know that a deck of cards is composed of 13 different figures, Ace, 2, 3, 4, up to Jack, Queen, and King. At four different suits, we have the spade, heart, clover, and diamond. So 13 values with four different possible suits, we have 52 different cards. Suppose that a single card is drawn at random. So what is the probability of getting a heart? We know that since there are 13 cards out of the 52 possible cards, then the probability of getting a heart is 13 over 52. You may express that as 1 over 4. How about the probability of getting a king? We know that there are 4 possible kings out of the 52 possible cards. So the probability of a king is 4 out of 52. You may also simplify that as 1 over 13. When a fair die is tossed, when we say fair die, it means that the probability of each of the 6 possible outcomes which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all equal. So the probability of getting a 3 is... 1 out of 6. And the probability of getting an even outcome, so the possible outcomes are 2, 4, and 6, we have 3 outcomes out of the 6 total possible outcomes. Now, in this figure, suppose you have two events. We have events A and B. The one that carries the common event, the one in the intersection, is denoted by this symbol. We read this as A intersection B. Suppose we have this figure wherein you have 10 people who are either in A or B or both. A person is randomly selected. What's the probability that a person is from A? We have 7 out of 10. Since there are 7 people in A out of the 10 possible people. How about the probability of getting a person in B? We have 5 out of 10. Since there are 5 people in B out of the 10 total possible people. How about the probability of getting a person who is in A and at the same time a person in B? That is 2 out of 10. We only have 2 people here out of the 10 possible people here. So the previous answers are seen here. The conditional probability, which is written as P, then parenthesis A, then a bar, then B, this is read as the probability of A given B. So this indicates that since this is given, given those in B, Meaning, you're only going to consider these people who are in B. What is the probability that you're going to get a person or a member who are in A? Answer is 2 over 5. Since there are only 2 people here who are in A among these people who are in B. And taking a look at these answers, 2 over 5 may be derived using this value and this value. So meaning 2 over 5 is the same as 2 over 10 all over 5 over 10. So this shows that the probability of A given B is just this value over this value. Or in other words, does the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of B.